Okay, so for this one right here, for vector V, okay, the, the component form for this vector, we already did this one in the other video. Uh, this is 3, negative 4. Um, let's think about this for a second. Um, it goes, where's 3, negative 4? 3 is right there, and negative 4 is about right there. So there's my terminal point, and so I draw my... My, my vector right there, my, my ray. Okay, uh, this is asking, what is the direction angle? Okay, now now remember what be, what I said before in the, the other video. Um, our answer has to be between negative 90 and positive 90 degrees, right? Because of the arc tangent function. The arc tangent function is between those two asymptotes uh, for the range. Um, if you want to, you know, relearn that, go check out the other video. So how are we going to figure out this one right here? Yeah, let's make a triangle. That's, that's a great idea. So here's, here's our triangle right here. It goes from there to there and there to there. Do you guys know the length of this one right here? That's three? Is it three or four? Three. It's three. And what's the length of this one right here? I know it's negative four, but yeah, the, the length is actually four. It, we, know, we have to say negative four, so we know that it goes down, um, but um, it doesn't matter for this purpose right here. Now, in order to find this angle right here, this theta, you have to um, um, use which trig function? Tangent. So tangent a theta equals what? No, no, opposite over adjacent. Negative four over three. Four over three. Okay. Do you guys know where this is? Fifty three. That is. You said you said fifty three. Theta. You calculator. You have, to. <laughs> you have to. Like you guys don't know this one by heart. We don't know this this triangle by heart. So you could um, use the tangent inverse to get your theta. You go tangent inverse, or you can say arc tangent, four over three, and that's how you're gonna get your number. Um, so what, what what number did you get again, Ben? Fifty three. Is that it? Just fifty three degrees? Uh, so a bunch of other stuff. Bunch of other stuff. Can you give me the next two numbers, please? One one three. One one three. So I'll just say 53.11 degrees. Guys, can you double check that? Because I don't want to be wrong on my video. Okay, now, that, that is a 53. That's what this angle is right here. But what is, it's 0.113, sorry. Good, thank you for fixing that. 0.13, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, that is just this angle right here. Okay, but that's actually a negative, right? Because it goes the opposite way. All right, um, but that's not the directional angle. We want to keep it positive. So, what is this angle right here? How are we gonna find that? Yeah, you go 360 degrees and subtract 53.13 from it. So, actually, if you already have this in your calculator, just go minus 360 or plus 360, whatever you have to do to find the difference, and what do you get? 306.87. That's your answer. Uh, a little late there. Okay, so we got negative 53.13 because, you know, remember this is, we're doing the arc tangent to find it. And that gives us this, but then we also, we have to find the actual, um, the, the directional angle. And this also goes for when you guys see, um, uh, word problems and they're dealing with bearings. Okay, uh, actually, this is in the the Patrick GMT video that uh, I posted on my website for you guys. But um, I, I shall let him explain because he does a really good job of it. And I'll keep the video short.